Hello, I'm Brian Tracy and welcome to the Keys to Peak Performance. When I was in my 20s, coming from a poor background and with no real advantages, having dropped out of high school, I began asking the question, why is it that some people are more successful than others? Over time, I found that the answer to this question has been sought for more than 2,500 years by some of the smartest and most insightful men and women of every civilization. In the last hundred years, countless millions of dollars and thousands of hours have been invested in searching for the answer to this question. Thousands of books and articles have been written on the subject. The good news is that today we know more about how to achieve success and happiness and prosperity in more areas than we've ever known before. Today, for the first time, success is predictable for you in any area of your life that you consider important. In this lesson, you will learn some of the key ideas and principles that have been discovered by successful people throughout the ages. When you learn and apply these principles to your life, you will begin to get the same results that they do. The good news is that you have more potential than you could use in 100 lifetimes. When I was in my 20s, I heard the common statistic that the average person uses only 10% of their potential for success and achievement. Wow! As I thought about that, I wondered what would be possible for me if I could use 20% or 30% of my potential. What a difference I could make in my life, especially in my income and my career success. I later learned that the average person uses only about 2% of their potential, according to Stanford University. The average person leaves 98% of their potential unfulfilled. Instead of living at the outer edge of what is possible for them, the average person spends most of their life watching television, listening to music, playing with social media, doing their work in an average fashion, socializing as much as possible with other people who are also going nowhere with their lives. The good news is that at any time, you can decide to unlock more of your potential and accomplish more things than ever before simply by learning how other people have done it as well. They say it doesn't really matter where you're coming from, all that really matters is where you're going. Now, your brain has 100 billion cells, each of which is connected to as many as 20,000 neurons or other cells. This means that the total number of ideas or thoughts that you can think is greater than the number one followed by eight pages of zeros. It's greater than all the molecules in the known universe. Your mind, your brain is really incredible if you use it. The only real limits on what you can truly accomplish are the limits you place on your own mind. Perhaps the greatest question you can ask with all this potential is, what do you really want to do with your life? Let me repeat, what do you really want to do with your life if you could do anything. Fortunately, today, all the answers have been found. You can achieve almost anything you want in life if you first determine what you really want and second, find out how other people have achieved success and happiness in that area and then you do the same things. We say that life is like a combination lock only with more numbers. If you have the right numbers in the right sequence, Anybody can open a combination lock. In this case, clarity is your best friend. What are the ingredients of success for you and others? Well, there seem to be seven things that we all strive for and against which we measure how well we are doing in life. So give yourself a grade of one to ten on these seven factors and then decide exactly what you're going to do to become more successful and happier in each area. The first and most important ingredient of success, in my opinion, is peace of mind. This means that you feel happy and content and peaceful with yourself no matter what is going on around you. Your ability to achieve your own happiness, your own peace of mind, is the true measure of how well you are doing in life. Everything we do in life is aimed at enjoying higher levels of inner peace. 
The second common ingredient of success is that we all want to be healthy. This means that you have high levels of health, energy, and physical well-being. To be healthy as possible, you want to be fit, trim, at your ideal weight, pain-free, and full of energy so you can do all the things that are possible for you in life. In fact, you can usually measure how healthy you are by how much energy you have each day. The third ingredient of success is happy relationships with other people. Fully 85% of your success and happiness will be determined by the people that you love and care about and the people who love and care about you. If you have problems in your relationships, they will immediately have a negative effect on your health and mental well-being. Serious relationship problems can lead to physical illness and aches and pains and to tremendous stress and frustration and unhappiness. The fourth ingredient of success is meaningful work. You want and need to be doing work or something else that is fulfilling and challenging and which interests you and brings out the very best possible in you. One of the great keys to success is to do what you love to do and put your whole heart into becoming better and better in that area. In addition to meaningful work, you want to earn a good living, to be paid well, and to be able to enjoy all the other parts of your life based on your income from your work or your career. The fifth ingredient of success and happiness is financial independence. Perhaps the greatest single drive of the individual worldwide is the desire to enjoy freedom of all kinds. And this especially means financial freedom. The freedom of knowing that you have enough money that you never have to worry about money again. One of the most important things that you do throughout your life is to save, invest, insure, and plan for the achievement of financial independence. Unfortunately, if you don't have a serious long-term plan for achieving financial independence, you could end up at the end of your work life with not enough money to retire or to back off. Today, fully 68% of people reaching the age of 65 are planning to continue work until their 70s or longer. Why is this? The answer is obvious. Because they did not plan to achieve financial independence earlier in life, they cannot stop working today without a serious negative impact on their living standards. Don't let this happen to you. The sixth ingredient of success is a feeling of self-actualization. In reality, this is perhaps the most important of all. This is the feeling that you are becoming all you are capable of becoming, that you are realizing your full potential as a person, and that you are growing and becoming more and more as the months and years pass. It's been said that virtually all negative emotions come from a feeling of frustrated potential. It's when you find yourself in a situation where you're not living to the full, stretching your abilities to the maximum, and becoming all that you are capable of becoming. That's when you feel negative and unhappy about yourself. The seventh ingredient of success is the ability to live your life in your own way. You want to reach the point where you feel completely free to make your own decisions, to go where you want to go, to do what you want to do, and to buy what you want to buy. Now, the good news is that all of these seven ingredients of success are possible for you and more possible today than ever before. But you must decide exactly what you want and then make plans to achieve it. You must work on achieving these goals every single day. They will not happen by accident. So what are the outputs, results, or benefits of achieving the success you desire? In my estimation, based on many years of research with thousands, maybe even millions of people, I think that there are three internal ingredients that you can use to measure how well you are really doing in your life. The first output or result of success is self-esteem. This means that you feel good and valuable and important in yourself. It means that you like yourself and respect yourself and feel that you are a thoroughly good person. The second output or benefit of success is self-respect. 
You respect yourself for what you have accomplished and you feel that you are respected and esteemed by the people around you for what you have done with your life, especially the feelings and opinions of your family. It's said that everything we do in life is either to earn the respect or not to lose the respect of the people we respect. The third benefit of achieving success is a sense of personal pride. You feel that you have done things that are really worthwhile with your life. You're proud of yourself for what you've accomplished. You feel truly happy with your life at whatever stage you are at today. Now, the more you like and respect yourself, the higher will be your self-esteem. The higher your self-esteem, the better you do, and the better will be every part of your life. The keys to peak performance are simple. Study other successful, happy people, those with high levels of self-esteem, self-respect, and personal pride, and do what they do. If you do this, nothing can stop you from eventually enjoying the same rewards and benefits and wonderful feelings that they have. Now, here are some exercises that you can use to apply what we just talked about in this lesson. Exercise number one, list the three areas of your life where you feel the greatest amount of happiness and joy and peace of mind already, right now, today. Number two, what are the three areas of your physical life that are most important to you in terms of your health and well-being and energy? Number three, who are the three most important people in your life today in terms of good relationships. Number four, what are the most important elements of meaningful work? What are the factors that give you the greatest satisfaction and pleasure at work? Number five, list your three most important goals for financial independence in terms of how much you want to accumulate over your lifetime, how much you want to earn per month and per year from your accumulated savings, and the amount that you want to have at the end and leave behind to others. Number six, what are the three activities in your life that give you the greatest feelings of satisfaction and pleasure and happiness, your peak experiences? And number seven, if you had unlimited time and money, what would you do differently to live your life in your own way? And finally, What one action are you going to take immediately as a result of your answers to these questions?